Hello, today I'm going to show you what to put between the suburbs and the downtown of your city. So I made these couple of representations here. And the green here on the edge, these are your suburbs and your single family homes. Uh, these are more the low to mid rises with the yellow. Uh, orange you start to build up a little bit and then red are your high rises. So if by chance your city does look like this right now, then this is your solution. So an easy way to fix the density of your city and to fill up the middle is to put mid rises. So they don't have to be, you know, all the same height, but they should be roughly the same height. They are taller than your houses, but shorter than the high rises. But you might still be looking at this and think it's, you know, a little bit generic because it's in the same template as this. It's just built up more. So what you can do is you can do something like this. The difference between this model and the previous one is that the high rises are more spread out and they're in two different lines rather than just in the center. So you can see that you have a line of high rises going down the middle right here and then you have another one sort of going on the edge right there. This allows you to have a more intricate and interesting skyline. Now of course you probably don't want to have suburbs right in the middle of your city, uh, but compared to the one on the end there where it's just a ring around the edge, you can see that it's pushed in. So this is sort of what I mean here. You have these suburbs that are kind of blended with mid-rises, uh, but then once you walk a couple blocks this way, the buildings get taller and taller until you reach your downtown core. Take note of the height levels. So you have this red here, and then it goes down to an orange, down to a yellow, and then over to a green. Whereas over here, you have a cluster of red and then another cluster of orange, and then it goes down to your yellow and then to your green. So the drop in the height of buildings is quite a bit steeper here. However, if you're on this street here, you're gonna have some houses here, and then you're going to have a couple mid rises that build up. And then as you walk this way, you're gonna be pushed more and more into the downtown core. Now, if this was a real city, you would probably flatten this out a little bit more and it would probably be you know, way out here. Uh, but since we are building in Minecraft, you're probably going to want to build at a smaller scale. If you've already built your city and it doesn't really look like this, what you can do is if you have world edit, you can shift around some builds and play with the skyline a little bit. But if your city is made up of mostly suburbs, here is an easy way to increase the density. So this is a grid system of residential homes. You can see the houses are relatively close together, but it's not very interesting to look at. And in terms of walkability of this area, if you don't have a car, trying to go in town is gonna suck. So a way that urban planners will increase the density of an area, they will go along a main road, like this double right here, and then they will start to add mid rises along this main road. Now, over time, some of these houses might start to fall apart or get torn down and this is room for new development. You don't have to tear down the houses if you don't need, uh, but if you do, then you can maybe start to add small apartment blocks. Just be careful with this, because if you're walking through the neighborhood, having something really tall is gonna disrupt the flow. So keep it low and just be considerate of the style. So notice how we didn't put any high rises in this area. We're just keeping it to low and mid rises. So in essence, this area to increase the density, just add mid rises along your center street here, and then along the side streets here, this is where you have your homes. And if you're still looking to increase the density in your Minecraft city, then take out the occasional home right here and just replace it with a small apartment block. Just off the main road behind the mid rises, you can also choose to add some community amenities, which might include something like a community center, or you could put something like a church or a school. Of course, when you have a lot of people in a residential area, it's always nice to have a park. So we can go ahead and do that. Maybe we'll take out this one and this one. And then this area right here will be reserved for the park. So now we have an answer to what we put in between the suburbs and downtown. And also in those suburbs, how do we increase density? If you have any questions about building, feel free to leave a comment and then I might turn it into a video to answer your question.